Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of I3- ion. It's a chemical formula for triiodide ion. It's a chemical formula for triiodide ion and to determine its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its lowest structure followed by its shape and then we are also going to use the AX notation method to find out the molecular geometry. So this is the lowest structure of uh, I3- ion you can see over here. There is there are three iodine atoms that are forming bonds with each other and there are three lone pairs of electrons on this iodine atom uh, as it can have expanded octates it is fine it can have more than eight electrons in its outer shell and hence there are three lone pairs of electrons on this atom now if you look at its structure in 3d you will see that all these atoms of iodine are arranged in a straight line which means it has a linear molecular geometry if you view it in a 3d structure as well the three uh, lone pairs that are present on a central atom will lead to this because there are like two uh, iron atoms that are forming bonds with this central atom and this three will also try to um, repel each other and hence the molecule will take a shape such that these repulsive forces between bonding pairs of electrons and non-bonding pairs of electrons as it is at minimum and hence it will take this type of shape and you can make out from this uh, structure as it is that it is a linear molecule even if you use the AXN notation, you will get that this is a linear molecule and hence the molecular geometry of I3 minus ion is linear because it has uh, two atoms that are forming bonds with uh, the central atom. Here the notation, the formula would be AX2 and 3 and uh, hence it has a linear molecular geometry. And I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on lower structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.